Alrighty, so this is how you mod any new model 3DS, new 3DS, new 3DS XL, new 2DS XL, and uh, with zero chance of breaking. So with this modding tutorial, you can't break your 3DS. All you can do is mod it. And uh, yeah, as I, I will say that again, no chance of breaking, just to uh, make that clear for absolutely everyone. So uh, you can try this and um, it will work. No chance of breaking, no risk, no risk, okay? And uh, yeah, so first things first, let's take out the SD card. And uh, mine, since I have a new 3DS XL, is in the back here. Same with the new 3DS. On the new 2DS XL, it is under beside the game cartridge here. Let me just open this up. Hopefully there is a SD card here. Yes, there is, okay. And uh, let's just take that out. And uh, what we're gonna do is plug it into the PC. Plug it in, whoops. Go into File Explorer. And uh, here you have everything. Damn, there is a lot here from the previous owner. I'm not gonna go through that. And uh, what you're gonna do is make a new folder folder, boom, make a new folder on your PC and take all of these files, all of these files and transfer them over to the folder. But I'm not gonna do that because I don't really give a rat's ass about these files here. And um, yeah, so just make a backup. And uh, once you have done that, let me just focus on the screen here. Once you've done that, you're going to just press on the SD card and you're going to format, whoops. Damn, pressed wrong here. Press on format and this thing will pop up. You're going to choose FAT32. If FAT32 does not uh, is not an option here, then you probably have a SD card bigger than uh, 32 gigabytes. And then you need to follow my YouTube tutorial on uh, how to format any SD card to FAT32. But I do have FAT32 here as an option. So I'm going to press that. Allocation unit size, 32 kilobytes. Quick format, start, and uh, format is complete. And now what you're gonna do is take all of those files that uh, you backed up, you're going to open that folder, and you're going to copy and then paste all of those files back onto your SD card. But uh, yeah, I don't really have anything important here, so I'm not going to do that. And uh, once you have done that, you can go onto the first link in the description, which is going to lead you to this page right here. And uh, here, what you're gonna do is press on download and then download as a zip file. Give this a second to download here. There we go. And now I'm just going to X out of here, open file explorer, go into downloads. And then you're going to just extract the um, compressed uh, folder that you just downloaded. So I'm just going to press on extract all. Oh my days. Extract all and then extract. Boom, that is now done. I'm going to double click here. And now you have two files here, two files. And first of all, you're going to press on the Python one. I'm going to just open that open Python and then run. And here you're going to press on install now and go through all of the installation steps. I already have Python installed on my device, even though I think this is a newer version, but it doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, just install Python, go through absolutely everything. And uh, once you have Python installed, let me just X out of here. Then you're going to go into the root folder going to select everything in the root folder and drag and drop it onto the SD card. Just give this a second. And if this asks to overwrite files, you're going to overwrite the files. And uh, once that is done, you can just X out of here, eject the SD card. I do not have, I have 9% left. Damn, let's just save a little bit of electricity and take out the SD card too. 8% now, damn. 
There we go. Now, just plug the SD card back into your 3DS. I'm going to just put on the back cover here, even though that's not necessary. And I'm clicking on absolutely everything. Yeah, now with this cable, you know what? I don't think I need this cable anymore. And uh, now power on your 3DS. Also have screen protectors on the screen. Get those off. Get those off. This is actually the 3DS I will be doing the uh, marathon on the FNAF marathon or whatever where I'll just I mean I'll just play FNAF games on the 3DS yeah just take those off and uh, my 3DS is not initialized so uh, yeah I'm just going to initialize everything here and uh, once I'm in the home screen I'll continue the video there we go now I'm at the home screen let me just check that all the buttons work yes they do we just also turn up the brightness for you guys. There we go. Now, what you're gonna do is go into system settings on your Nintendo 3DS. There we go. And now you're going to connect to the internet here. I do not have a pen, so I'll use a pen. Boom. Connect to the internet and don't mind that my uh, 3ds is in Japanese it does not matter what region or language or anything you have and uh, yeah so just press whatever I am pressing I guess whoops now I just leaked the first two letters of my internet password let me just type that in there we go I'm gonna leave that into the video so y'all can try to find out what the password is okay that I understood. I don't understand Japanese, but that I understood. Okay. Thing is, I've done this so many times, so many times that I know exactly where to press at all times, even though I don't even know Japanese. But uh, yeah, and as you can see, I am on version 11.14.0-46J, J for Japanese. And uh, so yeah, you just connected to the internet. Good. And uh, if you are not on the latest version, which is 11.17.0-50, you're going to press on here, go all the way to the right, and you're going to update your Nintendo 3DS. So let's just update the Nintendo 3DS, really important step. So everyone watching this video is on the latest firmware before trying to mod. Really important, do not skip this step. So uh, yeah, once this is done updating, I'll be back. And boom, it is updated. I'm gonna just press okay here. Oof, a lot of fingerprints. And uh, by the way, don't mind that I'm on the Legion Go here. <laughs> it runs Windows, so uh, that's what I mod my consoles on. Oops, I'll just clean the screens here with a microfiber cloth and um yeah once you have updated if the update was successful i just double check that it was just in case because sometimes things happen and i don't i can't read japanese so i couldn't really tell an error from a successful message but yeah 11.17.0-50j absolutely awesome so what you're gonna do is go back to the home screen why is my Damn, why is there so much light? There we go. Now press on here, go into Mi Plaza. There we go. And Mi Plaza will load some things right here. We'll load some SD card things. And if that did not happen for you, then you can just skip this step. It was not important. If it did not come up, if it did come up, then uh, good job. You're going to press home, then go all the way to the right here. Go into system settings. Mm -hmm. Then press here, then press Nintendo 3DS, and then press on the top one first. There we go. Now what you're going to do is take out your SD card while your 3DS is on and plug in the SD card into your PC. Let's just move this aside a little. 
there we go. Go into File Explorer, go into the SD card, and then double click on MSET 9. It does not matter what MSET 9 you press on, just as long as it's one of the normal MSET 9s and not the MSET 9 dot command. So I'm gonna press there and we are rocking a new 3DS model uh, on the latest version. So we're going to press two here and then perform sanity check one and enter. And yet we got an error, but this is not a error at all, really. So uh, it's all good. What you're gonna do here is press enter. And if you did not get that error, you can just skip to uh, when I say that uh, you are ready to proceed. So uh, yeah, we're going to just eject the SD card. There we go. Take out the SD card. And while you're on this screen, just plug the SD card in. There we go. And you're going to press here to initialize the SD card. There we go. And that error is now fixed. So you are now ready to proceed even if you did not get that error message. So uh, yeah, now you're just going to go back and now you're going to press on the second option here, not the first one this time. And you know what? I'll show this again. Uh, you just go into system settings, you press here, Nintendo 3DS, and now press on the second option here this time. Boom. You will have one option here. And now you can just take out the SD card while your 3DS is on. And now we're basically on the modding step. I just put this a little aside. Plug in the SD card into your PC. File Explorer, SD, and then press on one of the MSET 9s, just not the MSET 9 command because that's for Mac. Bam. And now you're just going to press 2 because we have, as I said, a new 3DS rocking the latest version. Enter, and then perform sanity check, 1 and enter. Everything appears to be functional. And uh, press on MSET 9 again. Since we have a new 3DS, you just press 2. And then this time, press 2 to inject MSET 9 payload. And this will mod your 3DS technically. So uh, yeah, enter to exit. Enter, exit out of here. And let's just eject the SD card. Take out the SD card here. There we go. Take out the SD card and plug it into your 3DS. There we go. And boom, this right here is the mod menu to mod your 3DS. And um, yeah, if this did not pop up, then uh, or it just loads or something like that, then uh, what you're going to do is turn off your 3DS just by holding the power off button for until it powers off. And then you're going to take out the SD card, format the SD card to FAT32 like I did in the start of the video. And uh, you're going to ins like restart the entire tutorial basically. Uh, just that you of course do not need to update again this time. And uh, yeah, this will then pop up if you get any other errors. I don't think you can get any other errors, but uh, just comment down below and uh, I'll help you. So what you're going to do is follow what it says on the screen and A. And this will now install the Luma 3DS there. A. And boom. Here we have Luma 3DS. Press on start to get rid of this menu here. Mm -mm -mm. And boom, now your 3DS is technically modded, but you're not done yet. You still need to install all of the homebrew apps. And uh, as you probably can tell, my 3DS is in Japanese. So what I need to do is region change it to Europe. And I'll do that off camera, of course, because most of you will probably not have a Japanese 3DS. But if you do, then I have tutorials on my channel on how to region change your 3DS from Japan to Europe or America. And uh, yeah, so let me just region change it real quick to English and uh, I'll be back. And there we go. That did take a while, but the 3DS is officially in English. And uh, yeah, we're ready to move on to the next step. And uh, what that next step is, is to go into download play. And then you're going to press down 
L and select, go down to miscellaneous options, press A, and then press A on switch the HB. And once you get operation succeeded, just press B, B and B. Then press home, maybe press home again, and maybe even press home a third time, even a fourth time. And uh, X out of here, and then you're going to open download play again. There we go. And now you're going to go into FBI, SD, and CIAs. Then press A on current directory and press A on install and delete all CIAs. And then press A here. This will install all of the mod apps. And uh, this will not take a while unless your 3DS is basically dying. Then uh, this does take a while because uh, performance gets downgraded by a lot. I learned that yesterday, actually. And uh, you can press home, X out of download play, and boom, new software has been added to the home screen. And uh, yes, and people have asked me, what happens to download play now? How do I make it into download play again? Because if you right now in the second, right after installing those apps, go into download play, and it will take you to the homebrew launcher again. And uh, how you're going to fix that is by powering off your 3DS. I actually need to go into here because I region changed. So I need to just fix some things. And uh, what you're going to do is just power off your 3DS like normally. And uh, this will now reboot my 3DS because I just did that. But do not do that if you did not region change. And uh, just power off your 3DS or reboot it, power it off and on. And now if you go into download play, what's gonna happen is it's download play again. So all you had to do was restart your 3DS and it's download play again. And if you want to make it into the homebrew launcher again, you just have to press down L and select, go to miscell miscellaneous options and switch to HP. But you do not need to do that because you just installed homebrew and uh, all of the homebrew apps, as you can see here, Universal Updater, right here, Homebrew Launcher, right here, FBI, right here, we also have Checkpoint, and we also have Anemone 3DS, the Theme Tool Manager. And uh, yeah, and I usually also install uh, Homebrew, no, HOP, Homebrew is installed, a chop, but uh, I can't install that anymore because uh, yeah, I can't really say, but uh, I can't install it anymore. But if you do want to install it yourself, then I have a video right here on how to do that. This is how I installed DS games on your modded 3DS, and this is how I installed Game Boy games on your modded 3DS. So yeah, and uh, also make videos on when new Luma versions come out. So uh, subscribe if you want to stay tuned or updated on those. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. Goodbye.